Alright, today I've got a modeling tutorial for you guys. A couple people have asked for it. Uh, we're gonna model an MP7A1 in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.91 Alpha the with the new Boolean branch. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna need that, but it's got some good improvements if you are into Boolean, so. Uh, let's just get started. We're gonna start off modeling the the bullet. So, let's pull up Here's my pure ref scene. I've got some reference before we started. Always important to have reference, but let's just get right into this. So, first things we're going to do is go into side view. Actually, might as well go over the add-ons at the very beginning. So, edit, preferences. For the tutorial, we're going to need the edge flow master. Just look up set flow and you can install that. Loop tools, node wrangler, um, what else? Modifier tools. And uh, I think that's it. Maybe the measure it might as well. Uh, but that sh oh, and bool tool, bool tool. All right, now that we've got all our add-ons covered, I'm also using right-click to select and space to search. Just be aware of that. Your key binds, if you're using left-click, should be about the same. But either way, let's just get started. So, go into the right view, drag in your bullet diagram. This is a HK 4.6 by 30 millimeter bullet. You can get that off the website. Anyway, let's uh, set our units. So we want to use metric, probably centimeters, and I think 0.1 is good. So let's create a cube. And our bullet is 38.5 millimeters long. 38.5 millimeters long. So let's scale our bullet to that size. And then we can start modeling it. This is a fairly, uh, starting off from simplest piece of the gun, which is the bullet. And it'll also help us get our proportions right. Alright. That's about good, doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to make sure that's on the center line there. Because that's going to be important. <sighs> Alright, let's scale that in on the X. Bring it up again. Alright, I'm just going to steal that vertice, set it, set it to the center, and let's set up our snapping. Oh, that should be good. Alright, this is a real easy model, so let's just, we'll start with the casing, bring it up. I know it can be kind of difficult to see. Just, you know, try your best. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's not a CAD model. So, I'm just extruding. Pretty simple. Anyone should be able to do this. Alright. Let's just put it on the inside. Set this to global. Put it to the center. And make sure that's a zero too. All right, now we've got our casing. Let's set this. Let's change our render engine to cycles, so we can. Actually, we can just put it to EV. Visibility, viewport display is what we want. Just change that to wire. Move this back. Set it as a reference image. And now we're gonna screw this on the Y. Make sure all your transforms are applied, that's important. Might as well do that with this in case we steal any more geometry and let's set it to 24 loops. And uh, let's also auto smooth. 
least for now we'll keep it at 30. At the very end we'll go in and make sure it's all 180 and properly mark that with hard edges. All right, let's steal that, separate it. Bring that out to here. Bring that out to that mark and bring that to the zero. And let's bevel that with I think um seven segment segments should be enough. You know. Maybe even a little overkill. Because we're never really gonna be looking at this. Let's round out the tip. Alright, that looks pretty good. So let's save. Um go here. P7. We'll just call this uh P7 dot blend. Alright, well that's the end of part one. Uh next up we'll model the 40 round magazine. And uh just gotta test some things, make sure all the recording's set up. That's why this part's gonna be a little short, but anyway, see you in the next one.